most basic way to think of clinical skills is that it is um, an introductory program to for medical students learning how to interact with patients in a clinical setting. So every week uh, we have a four-hour session um, centered around how to actually interact as a physician um, and kind of use what we learn as students to help facilitate and grow ourselves in what we'll do as physicians. So as part of that, they're basically expected to come here, work with our faculty, work with our standardized patients and learn how do I take a history with someone who's coming in with an illness? How do I do a physical exam with someone who's come in with an illness as part of it? How do I communicate with that person? And communication is kind of a, a two-way street. It's not just what information do I have to get out of them, but also how do I provide information back to them? And one really good example is that we usually come in with some pre-work. For example, this week we did cardio pre-work, so how to do a cardio exam. And then we come in and we talk a little bit about um, what is expected um, and we go through the physiology um, and then we have this session where we can actually watch real life physicians which uh, who are our cohort faculties. Um, they walk through the exam with us so we can see it in an actual real life setting. So we learn from it and then apply it in an SP encounter and we get an SP feed feedback relatively quickly so we can learn from our mistakes and also learn from our strength and we can use that in our LIC experience. An SP is a standardized patient or a simulated participant. It's somebody who is a role player. They do all kinds of cases, anything from having a cough, uh, having the flu, to uh, suffering something like postpartum depression or schizophrenia. So you can do any number of clinical encounter role plays and you do those with medical students or any sort of level of learner just to give people the chance to practice uh, hands-on skills in a safe environment. I think over time I've grown to see that seeing that progression with the SP has helped me a lot. Um, additionally, I think having SP encounters and having LIC clinic, um, it makes me more comfortable talking to real patients. So when an SP tells me, oh, I, I love when you just look me in the eyes and you lean in, I do that when I'm like interacting with real patients. And obviously real patients are not going to be like, oh, I love when you look me in the eye. But I know that's like translated well with them because of the SB encounters. So something that is really amazing about our program is that we have this three-way feedback session after almost every SP encounter. The student will complete an encounter with an SP, they'll leave the room, everyone will have a moment to sort of process what just happened, and then they come back in the room with a cohort faculty member. So you have a cohort faculty member who's been tracking that student longitudinally across the course. You have the standardized patient who was just in the encounter with the student who's now out of character and being themselves. And then you have the student, and they have this really kind of incredible robust conversation for 10 minutes where the SP gets a chance to give feedback and let them know what behaviors were really effective in the room, what maybe were less effective, uh, and check out, you know, how the student is feeling about what just happened, if there are things they would change for next time. The cohort faculty then gets the chance to speak with that student and build off of the patient's feedback and give them some more medical advice and really get into the clinical aspects of what went well and what didn't. But that's kind of incredible to have all three voices in the room speaking with you know, pretty equal weight. The student is able to give their impression, the faculty member gives their impression, and the patient. So you have this really robust conversation, and um, I think there's a lot of growth and learning that comes out on all sides from that. I think a big goal that we're trying to do is cl in clinical skills is making sure we learn how to do um, you know, basic exams, learn how to interact with patients while keeping this empathy aspect always in the back of your mind. But you being there for them and having that confidant and then that trust and that rapport will um, help them in, in the long term. And I think clinical skills has kind of drilled that onto us, just the, the um, importance of building rapport, the importance of history taking, uh, building connections so the patients tell you without you probing at them too much. You know, there may be difficult patients, there may be patients who are very uh, emotional, but you're just building that rapport will kind of allow them to uh, be more opening and trustful of you.